Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another Bible review. Um, I'm not going to be doing a review on both of these in this video, but I just wanted to show you. I will be, uh, I'll actually be doing a review today in this video on um, this uh, apologetics study Bible for students right here. And this one I will do later in a separate video. Um, but I just wanted to show you all that um, this, um, and while this it says for students, I think we're all students. So <clears throat> I think this, this Bible is so amazing. And just because it states for students doesn't mean it's just limited because we're all learning, right? Um, but I think it's trying to focus on like the college students and stuff like, and, uh, um, others like that. But this is, um, all in all an amazing, amazing Bible. They do have just the regular apologetics, um, study Bible. Um, and it is amazing. They're all amazing. This one is for the children. This one is for, um, I believe ages eight to 12. This is a, another amazing children's Bible, um, or youth Bible, I should say. Let me, let me double check on, see if it says what age. I don't know if it actually says or not. Um, I'm not seeing anything right off hand, but this one is for the children's though. So, um, uh, well, I'll, since I'm going to be reviewing this one in this video, I'm going to set this aside, get it out of the way. Hope my table doesn't collapse on me. <laughs> it shouldn't. It should be okay. But this is such an amazing and beautiful Bible. This one I have here is the Indexed Natural Cloth Overboard. And we can see here what all will it will contain. Um, our, it, it's packed full. Articles from popular youth leaders and apologists apologists 65 twisted scriptures uh, twi twisted scripture explanations for commonly misunderstood passages more than 50 bones and dirt entries um, archaeology meets apologetics and i think that is super cool um 30 challenges and tactics against common anti-Christian arguments, 25 personal stories of how God has worked in real lives, 25 um, fact, fast facts list to help remember key apologetics topics, 60 notable quotes, um, study notes, two-column design intensive interior, two-column text, 9.75 point font, Smith's own binding, presentation page, book introductions, ribbon markers, and full color maps. This Bible is loaded. It is loaded. There's so much here. There's the ISBN number if you are interested. Ah, it does. Oops, there we go. It does retail for $54.99, but I can promise you, you can definitely get it for less than that. And as always, I will be leaving the link down below in the description box if you are, if you are interested. So, I'm going to scoot that. I guess it doesn't matter. Anyways, as you can see, um, I think it's really kind of cool. It, it, it's um, the way they did this, this particular Bible, it, it does kind of look like a, something you get out of lawn, um, out of a library, but it looks kind of antique-ish. And I think it's really awesome to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm not big on hardcover um, Bibles, but this one is truly, truly unique. It is so amazing. I, I really like it. I truly, truly do. And then here's the spine. And I love this part because it, it has like little, um, almost looks like little flowers, but it's just the design is so awesome. So awesome. And as you can hear, 
like cloth and not as loud here. So definitely different materials. And it's, there's the back. And it's, it's just all around gorgeous, gorgeous Bible. Um, oh, yes. This Bible does contain two ribbon markers. As you can see, it is white and there's the thumb index. The thumb index on this is not picking it up very well. But there we go. Have the Old Testament in black, New Testament in red. And there you go. So let's go ahead and dive in because there's so much to get to in this Bible. There really, really is. This is such an awesome Bible. And I mean, if you're interested in not just the apologetics side, but, but just interested in all around learning, this would be an excellent book, uh, excellent Bible for you. Um, as always, I do recommend this Bible. Um, and I, I, thus far, I haven't been able to find too many flaws with this Bible thus far. So we open it up here. Um, of course, it has a paste down liner. And then we have our presentation page. And of course, you can take notes on the front here. The introduction page. And then here we have the copyright. Oh, I can, there we go. The copyright page. And there's some more ISBN numbers. Then here's the uh, introduction to the Apologetics Study Bible for students. Here's uh, the book, the books of the Bible and contributions. There are definitely, um, there are definitely uh, several, several uh, contributors to this Bible. And I think that is so awesome. Um, if, look how many. And um, I know J, uh, J, uh, Wallace Warner had actually um, also did an article um, in this Bible, which I think is awesome. I just, me personally, I really enjoy um, reading his thoughts and stuff. And um, uh, J J Warner Wallace, I got, I think I got it mixed up, but anyways, he's he's an ex. Um, cold case uh, detective. Uh, he started out atheist um, in his career. He was, when he started his career, he was atheist. And then upon investigating the gospels and, and other, other um, things in the Bible, he became Christian. And I think that's really, really cool. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take you off the tripod. So you can see now we have these articles, um, that are in this Bible and there are so many articles whatever you are have it's it's almost like if whatever you have a question on it's in here it's in here it hits each and every time it's just it's amazing and see there's J Warner uh J Warner Wallace why does God ans why doesn't God answer my prayers? So that'd be interesting. I've yet to actually read it, but it's I'm sure it's quite, quite interesting. Um he's an amazing writer. He really is. And here's some more. We're not even done yet. We're not even done yet. There are so many countless questions. So many. It's unbelievable. Now here we have, uh, it also has twisted, has twisted scripture and it tells you where to locate it in the Bible. And then we have the uh, bones and dirt notes and they're all written by Joseph M. Holden and it tells you where to find it. Tells you where to find them all, which if if you have a particular one you want to search out, you can go right to it. And then personal stories. And like I said, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Jay Warner right here. 
J. Warner Wallace, Cold Case Christianity. So his personal story is in there as well. So is uh, C.S. Lewis. Um, so this is just really, really an awesome, amazing, interesting Bible. And then we have the fun facts here. And so I'm going to go ahead and put you back on until I take you back off. Um, but here we've got uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. additional features, challenges and tactics and introduction, um, tactical tactical questions for apologetics and um, tactical awareness for apologetics. I mean, there's just so much in here. And then we have challenges. These challenges. Oops. These challenges. And I think that's so awesome. And then other material. And again, here's some more contributors to this Bible. From what I can see, this Bible has been so well put together. It's amazing. And then here we have the intro, the introduction to this uh, Christian Standard Bible. Now, here is the first, one of the first articles right here. Go ahead and take it off again. What are worldview, worldviews and why are they important? And of course, it gives the author's name. And then, I mean, it's it's a good page full. I mean, they're not skimping on this stuff. They're truly not skimping. Here's another one right here. How old is the earth? And that's, that is so awesome. Here is an example, or here is one of the uh, challenge and tactics. You can pause it if you want to read it. And here's a fun fact. And I didn't even sit there and I'm sitting there starting to flip through this Bible and I haven't showed you all. Okay. And here's another article. Is relationship important in apologetics? Okay, so now, so before even getting into the Bible, we have articles. And I think that is so awesome. But look at this. That is so awesome. Awesome sauce. I think that's so awesome how they've done that. And then here's the beginning of Genesis. And of course, they would give you like a whole or, or, um, overview and some information at the beginning of the books. And I love how they've got that picture in the background. I, I do. I personally like it. And then here's some more information. Little tidbits. And what in the world is going on? I love that. I love the way they put that. That is awesome. As you can see here, the type font uh, the the um, font is actually very legible. It is very easy to read. Um, I know some people, they still need a bigger font, which is, hey, that's, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm going to put you back up here for now. I'll probably be doing a lot of taking you off the tripod and putting you back on the tripod <laughs> during this review. But I just want to make sure you all are seeing all that this Bible is offers it is absolutely amazing okay so let's get into the first ribbon here the ribbons are double-sided satin and they're beautiful this is like a light brown light brown tan i'm not big like i don't know all the colors names or anything like that um but um it's like a a light golden brown it's really pretty Almost that darker tan color. Mm, it's not really, it's not picking up exactly what I see here, but you get the gist of it. But I, I also want to add, no matter which Bible you get, um, as far as this or the other one, the uh, um, regular adult one, it doesn't matter 
because they're both pretty much the same. You will have the same articles and everything in them. Okay, so here we have um, Introduction to First Chronicles. And again, gives you a brief summary of it, a little background, and then it breaks things up. And then here, what in the world is going on? There's a lot. It, this shows you right here just how much is actually going on in First Chronicles. Look at that, and it still continues. So there's a lot going on in the Chronicles. And, um, oh, I, okay. Um, yes, notable quotes. That's what I thought it was. So here's one of the uh, notable quotes here. And they are just sprinkled all throughout Scripture. Okay, so how are we doing on time? Not too bad, not too bad. But this Bible is just chopped full. Chopped full of, of so much information here. I am actually trying to find, here, let you look at that. That's another challenge in tactics. Here, let me go ahead and go up the front because I am looking for, I don't want to sit here and be trying to flip through it all. I'm looking for, um, uh, uh, what am I looking for? The, um, twisted scripture. Oh my goodness. My brain just went blank. Okay, um, I can get the pages here. Old Testament. I thought they had, they had the twisted scripture here. Where, am I missing it? Here it is. Jeez, right in front of my eyeballs. Okay, so here we have, um, where am I at? It's 603, so let's get close to where I'm at. Okay, so 601. Good. 601. Awesome. So here's an example of one of the twisted scriptures. So you can pause it if I can get it to focus real good. There we go. Pause it and you can read for yourself. But they're really interesting and they're all throughout um, this Bible. All these little tidbits, these articles, personal stories. Um, like this one is, is alcohol bad. Um... And it's just, it's just so chock full. And you do have some pictures um, sprinkled throughout here. Um, and this is a Bones and Dirt. Um, this is Ark of Titus. Arch of Titus. <laughs> Arch of Titus. And it's just an amazing, beautiful Bible. Um, and it has, like I said, it has so much information on it. It really does. And it helps to better understand scripture. Um, this is an awesome Bible to have, not just for, you know, the simple fact that it's apologetics, but also um, to better educate us as the children of the Most High. Um, this is definitely an educational Bible, and um, these articles are amazing. They just, they, oh, they're just, they're just really amazing. They give, you know, give different um insight and stuff like that and it's it's just it's just pretty awesome so here we have the new testament here and we're breaking out into book of matthew and it's it's just awesome awesome and of course we've got the study notes and all that down at the bottom okay so here we have another Bones and dirt. And here's another one. That's Herod the Great. About Herod the Great. Uh, here's another twisted scripture I want to show y'all. We 
this this Bible is just awesome. It is so awesome. I know I say that a lot, and I I need to stop repeating myself all the time. I know I do that a lot in the videos, and I apologize for that. Um, but this this Bible just has. There's so much in this Bible. There's so much um, information going on here. So much juiciness. So much juicy detail. So much information so much insight and it's definitely to help us as well to help us as children of the most high and it just helps us to be able to um defend oops to defend our faith sorry about that to defend, easier to defend our faith. My little thing came off my tripod. There we go. There we go. But there's so much in here to help us to be able to def better defend our faith and our beliefs, beliefs and why we believe what we believe and all that good stuff. And there's just so much tidbit in here. And then here is the other um, ribbon marker. And it's beautiful. It's like a real light. It's like a beige almost. A little darker than a beige. But they definitely go with this Bible. The colors, the color scheme is pretty awesome. And of course with, oops. And of course with this Bible, this particular Bible that I have, um, it is, it's unisex. So, Men and women can be, you know, can scoop this one right on up and be awesome. Be awesome. But yeah, I definitely recommend this Bible. There's there's um, things that I've read in this Bible that I didn't, I'm trying to think, that I did not realize before. Um, or I had not thought of before. Um, and this Bible just really brings it, um, just really brings it, uh, sorry, multitasking here. This Bible just really helps with the questions I have and I have had, um, and it helps me to better understand. It helps me better to understand scripture. It helps me to better understand um, even those who twist scripture. It even gives a better understanding of that. Now here I wanted to show you because I have not ran into one of these yet. This is one of the personal stories. This is of course... As you can see there, J. Warner Wallace, Code Case Christianity. And if you want to, you can pause it and check it out. But all these things, all these articles and these these tidbits of information um, that they've dropped in this Bible is so informative. Um, and I love the fact that they have multiple people in here in this study Bible. It's not just one person. And I do want to, um, I've said it many times before, and I want to say it again, study Bibles and devotionals and um, devotional Bibles and just regular devotionals are awesome. Commentaries are awesome. Definitely can use them. They can help lead us closer to Christ, help us better understand even, um, understand our faith, understand scripture, understand the Almighty. And, but we must keep in mind, these are, these are man's point of views. These are man's, um, two cents. Let's just say two cents. They're putting their two cents in it. Um, so we need, you know, if there's something that, if you get like a study Bible or a commentary or you get a devotional and you're reading something, you're like, Ugh. I don't quite agree with that. It's okay. It's okay. Here's another challenge in tactics. 
but it's okay to disagree. We don't have to agree with all of it. It is not the word of God. It is not, you know, I'm not saying that Jesus didn't speak through them, that the Holy Spirit hadn't spoken through them. Um, but if you don't fully agree, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so we have the source for notable quotes back here. And then jump right into the maps here. And the maps are absolutely beautiful. I'm turn it a little bit here. They're gorgeous. I love the color that um, when the Bibles use like vibrant colors, bold colors, I absolutely love it. It just, I think it just pops more. And of course, they're on cardstock paper. And then now we're at the back of the, the end of the book. But all around, it is an awesome video. Or it's an awesome Bible. I do highly recommend it. I will be putting the link to this Bible down in the description box down below um, if you are interested. Um, and I might go ahead and just put the Defend Your Faith in there too. We'll see. I might put both. We'll see. Anyways, I highly, highly recommend this. If you are looking for a good study Bible, uh, one to help with apologetics and stuff, I highly, highly recommend this Bible. So, um, as always, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch a little on me. I know you don't have to, but you see my mug, you see the Bibles, you see my fingers, and I'm much, much appreciated. Uh, I also want to say, if you have not yet um, liked, shared, and subscribed, I ask that you please do, because there's so much coming. So, so much coming. Um, we've got more giveaways um, to do and to get to um, more people to win. Um, be blessed with Bibles. Be blessed with other things that he may bring uh, to, he may bring to all of us, actually. <laughs> Um, so make sure you are subscribed, you click that, um, bell icon and you get the word out. Um, because it's not just the giveaways, but I want people to realize and know these, these Bibles are out there and there's such a broad, um, spectrum of Bibles, um, to help you, you know, no matter what your personality is, as far as, you know, if you're into journaling, if you're into taking notes or you just want a, um, just like a distinguished type of Bible or you're in apologetics or whatever you're into, there's Bibles out there for whatever it is. There's the Bible out there for it. And I think it's amazing. So with all that said, I just want to um, say, pray, 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 pray about everything. Even everything I say, pray before purchasing any Bible before doing anything. Um, and as always much love. God bless.